Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I'm going to show you real fast how to install Astral VPN on your Asus router. I had done a how to limit your Xbox to a VPN video a while ago. It was pretty complicated. Not too many people uh, could follow it very easily. So this is a much easier method, and it'll only work with Astral VPN. So if you're interested in limiting your Xbox to a VPN, this is definitely the easiest method. Once this is installed, all you have to do is go to device filter and just check the checkbox to whatever IP address your Xbox is, and then connect to a VPN that is closest to wherever you live and just click connect and your Xbox is over VPN. Super simple. So let me show you how to do this. Let's uninstall this and then I will show you what it takes to install it. All right, so now you see that tab is gone with the Astral VPN, and this is my real IP address, which I'll show you how to change, so don't worry, that's not gonna be my IP address for very long. So first thing we have to do is update our firmware. So up on the top, you should have like a firmware tab. If not, you just go to administration, and it's under firmware upgrade, and this is where we are going to load our Merlin firmware which I'll put a link down below. And these are the model of routers that you can use. I have an AC68U, which I just recently got February 25th on Amazon, it's 219 bucks. But previously I was using the N66U and it works as well. So the AC just supports some faster uh, wireless protocols, <laughs> the AC, and it also does N and G and stuff. So mine is AC68U, you download this firmware and it's a zip file, you extract the zip and then you choose the file, upload it here and voila, you are running the Merlin firmware. Once you have the Merlin firmware and you sign up for uh, the Astral service, first we are going to enable SSH or Telnet, I have them both enabled but enable one or the other or both and then we go to this page and we're going this is members.astral.com slash router dash setup php i'll put a link to that down below as well and you just put in your router ip address that's the default click install and for the newer versions of the merlin which i am running 3.7 or 374.41 or newer we have to use telnet or ssh so I'm using a PuTTY client, which is free to download. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Put the IP address of your router, choose either SSH or Telnet, click open, and default username is admin. Type in your password, which hopefully you've changed off of the default. And then you just copy this, right click, copy, right click, it'll paste it in there, hit enter, and then installing Astral VPN binary. Done. All right. Now we should have reload this page. Now we have our Astral VPN tab, and you will be able to VPN into a city that is hopefully near you. There's Denver, West Coast, Dallas. So there's a bunch in the US as well as Canada, all over the world. And this will stop DDoS attacks, most like small scale booters, like a large scale one, it's not gonna stop, but this gives you better protection of, especially against people that you run into in Call of Duty lobbies that are just running like a booter from their house, and they will not be able to boot you off if you're running your Xbox over a VPN like this. And let's see what else. Also, I'll show you real quickly how you can change your IP address. Go to the WAN tab. And then down at the bottom, if you click on Mac clone, this will normally not be populated at all. But if you click on Mac clone, that's going to clone the Mac address from your uh, modem, your cable modem. And you could mess around and play with these last two numbers. Any, each Your modem is going to give out an IP address based on a Mac address. So anytime you change your Mac address and then unplug and plug back in your cable modem, it's going to give you a new IP address. So you can use numbers, I think, you know, one through or zero through nine and then letters A through F. So you could start at like one A, which I have used before. 
and then when you click apply and then after it's done processing you just unplug your cable modem plug it back in and you're going to have a new ip address from your isp so that's the quick and dirty on how to do all that stuff and let me know if you have any questions down below i'll put a tutorial for you to refer to in the description if there's anything that you're unclear on and that's pretty much all i got for now hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you later take it easy